I saw the four angels take their stand, north, south, east, and west. Then I saw the 51 angels surround. Now, I will tell you, there's two things to watch when you see angels. Do they have their sword encased? Because the minute they pull it out, we're in trouble. And as they stood, the four angels were holding their sword up, north, south, east, and west. But the 51 all had their swords in their scabbard. Now, this happened to me on the front row here. Now, I do want to make an announcement here. I think God, from this meeting, will have liberty to determine which states will be in covenant with him, starting now. I think we've worshipped, and we don't want the angel attached to our state to pull his sword out. That wouldn't be good for us. We had a warning from Dutch. We don't want to be like Achan at Jericho and say, oh, let me take just a little of what I know's there because I might need it as I go into this promise ahead. No, you give to the Lord the best first. See, Jericho was the first fruit of the land. They were required to give him everything from Jericho. They weren't required to do that in every place they took. He has plenty for you. But he needed this meeting first. Before he could start dealing with the nation. Now, I want to pray two things. I want to pray for our president. Father, I ask you right now in the name of Jesus and by your spirit to go deep down into his family bloodline and pull out some things only you could pull out here in Charleston. Lord, cause him to see some things that he's lost sight of. Cause him to have an understanding, uh, uh, Lord, of things that he has lost sight of that you gave him prior. Lord, remind him of loss and show him recovery. Now, Father, we send that toward him while he's here in this land, in this atmosphere. And then, Lord, we honor your sword. You even said you didn't come to bring peace, but you came to bring a sword. And, Father, that's a kingdom sword. We say cut loose this nation from religion and entwinings. Break the power of infirmity that has spread across this land. And Father, we say we break agreement with poverty. We won't remain with a poverty, slavery mentality. Father, we say you will raise us up to have new thoughts of prosperity, new thoughts of multiplication, new thoughts of establishment. Let's stand up. I feel the Spirit of God here. And the Lord would say there's a very fine lining that I am looking at carefully throughout this land. 
I say just as the uterus contracts, there will now come a contraction throughout this land. Don't let any contraction that says can't or won't enter your vocabulary. I say there's a membrane that I'm looking at. For a nation will be birthed in a new way in the coming nine months. You'll watch the forming of it. And I say that membrane I am looking at and only I from heaven can cause the movement of it. I have chosen these 13 colonies and now I will use them as example again. I will reveal to them how they strayed from me and I'll reveal to them their path of deliverance back to me. But I say I have an order for this nation. And I have an angelic movement that now surrounds this land. Mark today, for this nation is now surrounded. I know states, how to free states and how to call states to sink in days ahead. But I have a remnant that gathers at my call. You have proven to me that when I say come, you'll come. I loose the spirit of prophecy upon these that are here. You'll wake up knowing things you didn't know. You'll wake up prophesying in a way you've never prophesied. You'll wake up uncovering a mystery that has been a mystery in your life. I loose the spirit of revelation upon us. I say you will uncover things you couldn't uncover in last season. I called you and you came. And I send you forth. Send you forth to walk and reclaim the glory of every place your foot steps. I am causing you to have access to the land that I have chosen for you. Walk in a new glory realm. And let's worship Him.